I'm Neil Ward Prakit Guru, this is Mike Cumbie of OCZ. We're going to discuss the state of play of SSDs in the UK market uh, early in 2016. It's a fast moving market, the products are changing like lightning. Uh, starting off, NVMe, M.2, PCI Express, those technologies can all come together in one product, such as Revo Drive 400. Mike, over to you. Okay, so we uh, recently unveiled these at the CES show earlier this year. Um, we've got two types of uh, card that is going to be made available to the public. Uh, we've got the uh, M.2 version, uh, and then we have one that is actually on an adapter card, in PCIe 4. And is it the same SSD on the riser? Uh, so that M.2 that goes in your laptop, yeah. or possibly on your motherboard, depending on the step of your hardware. Yeah. That goes in a PCI Express slot, and as we see, PCI Express three times Correct. four, so completely conventional. So we want to obviously address the, the you know the old legacy market, those who had the old motherboard. So we've obviously got the PCIe version for those. And NVMe being a protocol uh, mm -hmm. replaces a AHCI. M.2 being a form factor, yeah. and this, as we know, introduced by Intel with the 750. Um, now you interestingly have a 250 gigabyte there, which presumably makes it slightly more economic. Uh, correct. Excellent. You see a nice short answer. Uh, going down the list, um, Toshiba 3D NAND, uh, SSD market, SSD companies, you have a controller, you have memory, uh, OCZ is owned by Tosh, Tosh being an actual memory manufacturer gives you a, a good position. Uh, what's the state to play of 3D NAND, which obviously should affect price and uh, capacity? Um, so 3D NAND, obviously, uh, we're, we're part of Toshiba now, and, and we're, one of the first things that we wanted to do uh, with Toshiba was to make the transition to solely use uh, Toshiba NAND uh, in our products. Toshiba does, however, have 3D NAND in the works. We know this for a fact, but at the moment there are no products with 3D NAND on the board. Do we have any idea when? They might be coming along. It's it's clear that we we are going to have to address 3D NAND at some point with with future products. Um, but we're very much focusing on the now. The current technology, uh, really, uh, we're looking at uh, is obviously SATA by the uh, the Tron 100 mm. slash 150, uh, and now and this for this year the Revo Drive 400, which is addressing obviously M.2 right. NVMe market. So how has Toshiba influenced OCZ? Largest focus that we have is the quality mantra, which right. is you know it's plastered all over our website. And um, we're very very open and honest with you know RMA rates, mm. uh, and we've got a great um, customer support. Uh, section uh, now on the website. You've got a chat facility. You can email. You can and phone. Probably you can... A, uni a unique warranty. Oh, uh, we'll send yeah. you a new one if yours has gone wrong. Exactly. Send us the old one back at some point. Yeah, I mean that yeah. that one's actually industry uh, industry changing. It's groundbreaking. Mm. You know, it's advanced replacement for consumer, which mm. is it, it's unheard of. Um, so yeah, basically you, you you give us a call, you drop us an email, give us a serial number of the product. Uh, we'll send uh, a brand new product out in mm. a prepaid envelope so hopefully you'll send the old, <laughs> yes, yes. The old version yes, back yes. Um, and you know we're, we're, we're striving to, to turn that around in a very very short period of time. Are you allowed to give us even indications about RMA rates in terms of percentages? Um, yeah like I say it's, it's on the website you know I mean the, 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 the returns rates or the failure rates mm. um, the, if the failure rate hits a point of what we regard as, in, as critical mass internally you know we, we will stop shipping product right. but obviously having Toshiba components uh, that just hasn't happened. Um, people have been buying the products um, we've been speaking with both resellers and end users they're all getting confidence back in the ICZ brand. And as Kit Guru will remember, I or readers will remember, I did the flogging uh, five OCZ drives to death thing for blooming months it went on for. <laughs> I shan't be repeating it in a hurry. But they went past their warranty period by some insane amount. Yeah. Um, uh, there was a part of me that wanted them to die. <laughs> but there we go. We're not expecting any radical changes with the SATA drives. Presumably, the exciting area is M.2 PCI Express. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, obviously, you know, it, it is a premium product uh, in terms of price point. Uh, but again, you know, this is coming down. I believe that the public, certainly the second generation of SSD purchasers, are becoming more and more educated. Uh, they bought their SSD five, ten years ago. They thought, great, you know, paid a 
a cheap price for it, now I want to up my game. You know, they've realised that products are coming out that are faster and faster and faster. Eliminating SATA bottlenecks is probably going to be next on mm. most second generation buyers' agenda. Um, and I do believe that you'll see M.2 uh, absolutely explode later this year. What are you expecting the mainstream punters to be buying in terms of SSDs? Is it still a boot drive with hard drive as backup or are you able to now say it's all SSD? Being an SSD manufacturer, we wouldn't have purely <laughs> pushed them to, to take an SSD. But I think that, the, you know, that there is more reason uh, now than ever, um, simply based on, on the cost per gig. Uh, as uh, you know, people will look at obviously HDD versus just an SSD uh, of a similar capacity. Um, we've seen recently uh, the um, launch of Fallout 4 kind of. <laughs> Did that have an impact on SSD? On yeah, it was a good thing. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> as in, because it, what the hard drive is a bottleneck. In hard drive basically just could not handle it. Okay, interesting. So that's probably something worth uh, well, having so, a look so, at on our so, website too. So, so uh, just as uh, games can uh, game new games can drive graphics card sales, mm -hmm. also whoops, that's my storage that's now hit a problem. Yeah, yeah. If you go to ocz.com slash gaming, uh, there's a, uh, an element of the website which is dedicated to getting in the game, uh, in fact, essentially with contests. I'm cutting and in, I'm looking on your screen, get in the game, contest yep. giveaways, I see. Mm -hmm. This is completely new, so I'm yep. definitely going to be featuring that. I <laughs> uh, don't know what they're giving away, mind you. You have to hope for something tasty. Uh, and then obviously event streaming and such like. So, Correct. Uh, aimed clearly at the enthusiast rather than the person using PowerPoint and... Uh, spreadsheets quite right too we're becoming more and more strategically aligned with Toshiba that's only going to make us stronger um, going throughout 2016 the products uh, you can see already um, stronger from a technology perspective with the launch of Rio Drive 400 the second generation try on which is obviously the volume mm. uh, entry level uh, product uh, which is actually gone from 19 nm to the new 15 uh, NM uh, NAND um, and then obviously we've got the in-between uh, products out there as well and then going right the way up to the Enthusiast on the Vector 180 which is you know it's it, fast as 2.5 inch SSD in your range yes. exactly exactly and then your M.2 256 gig 512 gig going yep. up to the one terabyte yep. so covering the the market without pushing on to the to a terabyte which is beyond enthusiast and yeah I mean if customers want to purchase object, yeah they want to purchase enterprise uh, class drives then obviously those are available too right. excellent lovely job excellent that wraps it up nicely I'm Leo Waterpocket Guru this is Mike Cumbie of OCZ